your destiny helper can come sent by God to beautify and glorify your life but you use your mouth you use carelessness you use dishonor and lack of discernment to recycle seasons of pain you can pray and fast but because you do not understand the principles of scripture your destiny helper comes to your house and you don't know how to cook and you say God will favor me you did not bless the person are you not in trouble can't you go and meet somebody to learn how to cook as a way of preparing to honor your destiny helper a man old enough to be your father comes to your house and after two hours you give him a cup of cold water and he says god forbid fasting is not for men of god fasting is not for those in trouble fasting is not for those that the doctors say they have diabetes or they have you know something that is wrong with them medically fasting is for all men i truly believe that prayer with fasting prayer with fasting prayer with fasting hallelujah if you are pregnant and you have children don't worry we'll fast for you our fasting will cover you and even children too can fast let me tell you don't over pamper your children until spirits enter them children can fast you can they can fast and end by 12 it does not kill them don't say my child is too small let him grow by the time he grows he already has do you think that it was a legion that entered the madman in Gadara in one day? They kept coming and calling themselves and said, this man is an available tool until they became a legion. Encounter with the spirit of power. Number two, the second platform. I hope you got my arrangement that I'm giving you three biblical platforms for accessing power with God. Number one is through encounters. Encounter with the spirit of power. And that there are two conditions you want to encounter the spirit of god with his power your heart condition and then the ministry of prayer and fasting number two the second platform for accessing power is power that is accessed through the understanding of scripture there is a dimension of power that is accessed through the understanding of scripture you can also put in bracket comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom the second level of spiritual power is accessed through understanding of scripture understanding the mysteries of the kingdom the principles of the kingdom have within them a measure and a dimension of God's power already pre-programmed please listen you can access a dimension of spiritual power based on light illumination that comes from scripture acts chapter 20 and verse 32 it says and now brethren i commend you to god and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance it takes power for you to walk in that inheritance and that because you have embraced the word of god it is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified second peter chapter 3 and verse 18 second peter 3 18 it says but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ to him be glory both now and forever amen grow in grace and in the knowledge the original rendition there is not just grow in grace and in the knowledge it is growing grace through the knowledge growing grace and your growth in grace comes through knowledge the higher your level of light the higher the spiritual power that you command are we together now there are things you need to know about the kingdom the way the kingdom was built advancement and power is light dependent to the degree to which you access the scriptures that means if someone comes and he said listen there is darkness in this and that area of my life i need help you must have the level of spiritual understanding to be able to guide them to access the power of god that comes through knowledge fight ignorance fight ignorance fight ignorance believers obtain grace to study and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture which is able to make you wise unto salvation you must obtain grace to have high level spiritual illumination this is the reason why coming to the house of god is very important because the house of god affords you very cheaply the privilege of being methodically mentored guided in partnership with the holy spirit when he the spirit of truth is come before the holy spirit came as the spirit of power in acts chapter 2 Jesus told us that he will come and guide us. You're not going to walk in spiritual power in ignorance. It will be a risk for you to be a powerful but ignorant believer. 
power comes with light light power comes with illumination and jesus himself the powerful knew what he would do is god speaking to someone power for instance there are certain possibilities in the kingdom that if you just have wisdom that comes through the word you will know what to do let me show you a scripture i found this scripture and it really blessed me proverbs 3 35 while i was preparing this note i just stumbled across this scripture and it ministered so deeply to me and i added it among the scriptures it says the wise shall inherit glory but shame shall be the promotion fools the wise you will always see the glory of god around the life and the corridors of wisdom the wisdom that comes through the word it's impossible for your life to not capture and manifest the glory of God if you submit to the wisdom of the world. Financial glory, glory in terms of influence, whatever it is, the power of God revealed through your life by reason of accessing wisdom. For instance, if doors have been closed against you and you are trusting God for open doors, it's not just the issue of demons and casting out demons. Maybe you do not have the wisdom to understand the gift and the ministry of men hallelujah oh lord send somebody to my life to help me and god says that dimension of power is released through understanding the favor of god can come and wait at the corridor of your destiny for many years but because you have not gone to understand the dynamics honor value your destiny helper can come sent by god to beautify and glorify your life but you use your mouth you use carelessness you use dishonor and lack of discernment to recycle seasons of pain you can pray and fast but because you do not understand the principles of scripture hallelujah this is very important you must learn the ways of god there are many of you who don't read books you don't study any material you don't learn the bible says buy the truth and sell it not it takes hunger and diligence please go online and listen to my message buy the truth i preached it in takoradi in ghana buy the truth say very i listed there in that teaching five currencies that we use to buy the truth hunger meekness honor these are currencies that we use to buy the truth you must passionately learn learn the things that you do not know knowledge is available knowledge is more available today than it was any time in history it takes humility and a recognition that if i do not know and i remain in darkness anything you want to learn today it is available you want to make yourself more valuable even physically it is available your destiny helper comes to your house and you don't know how to cook and you say god will favor me you did not bless the person are you not in trouble can't you go and meet somebody to learn how to cook as a way of preparing to honor your destiny helper a man old enough to be your father comes to your house and after two hours you give him a cup of cold water and he says god forbid <laughs> hallelujah you do not understand the principles of relationship and courtesy to greet those little little things can rob you of the power of god you may not see the power that is invested through knowledge believers please hear me you must understand the word dimension of the power of god go for the word i immerse myself in knowledge the knowledge of scripture and then wisdom from men and women with proven track records it's not only god i want to know i want to know the men i am sent to i want to understand how men think i want to understand the principles of influence i want to understand leadership i want to understand how to impact people it's not an impartation it comes by knowledge go and buy book go online settle down give yourself revelation projects and settle down and learn if you're with me say amen please obtain grace to learn obtain grace to learn don't be lazy reject laziness it is of the devil it is a robber and a destroyer of beauty and color from a destiny a lazy generation that just believes in impartation alone will only be making a mockery of themselves let me tell you sincerely it is often said on easy lies the head that wears the crown if you are a man of god the only thing you learn is not it's not only prayer and fasting and bible study you learn you must learn administration you must learn finances you must learn leadership you must learn people skills are we together there are all kinds of veterans of leadership within this ministry. Go and subscribe for their program and learn and build capacity. Sometimes we suffer the pain of a generation 
that does not want diligence but we want results oh god it doesn't matter how you do let me just see the results i know you are merciful the mercy of god is not a license for foolishness let me tell you the truth a diligent hand shall be made fat there are many lazy preachers i'm sorry to say there are many lazy business people you want to have influence over people it is not only anointing you will need an empty and a dull head nobody will come and submit to any leadership that does not have capacity people are intelligent people don't forget that some of the people you will find around you are also leaders in their corporations conglomerates they have children some of them are employers of people to the thousands they will not come and sit down under a leader that does not know what he's saying there has to be a high level of advanced developed intelligence your mind must be alive not your spirit alone and it takes diligence receive grace to be diligent shout a loud amen receive grace to be diligent avoid premature manifestation if you are not ready sit down when you are ready the door will open if the door is closed is God's mercy keeping you so that you don't rubbish the opportunity he's giving you sit down sit down and learn make up your mind that when God brings you to your season of appearance, you will not bring shame and reproach to yourself and to the name of Christ. Hallelujah. The understanding of scripture empowers men to release that dimension of God's power. The Bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty, to penury. That means if you are a greedy person who is always withholding, forget about increase. Whether it is in the secular or in the kingdom, you see, giving is one of the major active ingredients as far as kingdom wealth and prosperity is concerned. God will not trust you. I hope you know that wealth in the kingdom is not an achievement. No. Maybe in the world it will be, but in the kingdom wealth is a trust from God. A man can receive nothing except it is given to him from above. And there are conditions that must be met. God loves everybody, but according to Matthew chapter 25, I think from verse 16 or so, the parable of the talents, the Bible tells us very clearly that he gave unto one five talents, he gave unto one one talent, uh, two talents, he gave unto one one talent, according to their several abilities, not according to his love for them. He loved all of them, but he gave them according to their capacities. And at the end of the story, we see that he was just and fair to have done that. In the kingdom, God will not cast his spell before swine. You want God to commit to you the grace for nations and territories. It has to rise and match your level of spiritual and intellectual acumen. Number three, what is the third platform for accessing the power of God? One, we said encounters, particularly encounter with the spirit of power. Number two, power that is released through knowledge, understanding of scripture and the mysteries of the kingdom. Number three, power that is accessed through covenant alignment with anointed vessels the third dimension of power don't assume you understand what i'm saying is power that is accessed by coming into covenant alignment with careers of spiritual power careers of the anointing in philippians 1 and verse 7 popular scripture philippians chapter 1 and verse 7 the last sentence there says ye all are partakers of my grace Paul did not say ye all are partakers of the grace or his grace. He knows that it all belongs to him, but with respect to what he was teaching, he said it is grace given to me, but you can be partakers of it. Ye all are partakers of my grace. There is power that is accessed through genuine connection, covenant alignment with men and women that have been so trusted by this grace from God. It is true. There are dimensions in the spirit that God will mandate that you receive and function in by reason of your connection with certain men and women that have become carriers of grace. In as much as the same Lord is rich unto all and ultimately the spirit of God is the giver of all, but God has so distributed this or he has so designed this system in his kingdom there are levels of spiritual power you can never access in isolation to certain graces that God has put within your life, within a territory, and largely speaking, within the body of Christ. Grace. Every time I have the privilege of going to minister in a nation or in a church, 
especially if I'm preaching for any of the fathers, I don't just prepare the sermon. Among the many things I prepare, I also prepare my heart and I try to study by the Spirit and through experience and through scripture, the various graces that are at work in the life of those individuals. So that on one hand, as I go to bless them by the privilege God has given me, on another hand, my heart is open to receive. What grace do they carry? What standing do they have with God? Let me submit to you, my dear people, please listen to me. There are men who have a standing with God. There are men who God has covenanted and sworn by his name over their lives. They have a standing with God. There are men who have become the friend of God. Truly, there are men on earth who are friends of God. They are not just children of God. That is wonderful. But by reason of relationship and intimacy, they have come to a point where God can call them friend. Shall I hide these from my friend Abraham, seeing that he shall be a mighty man? One of the proof of friendship is that you are not afraid of opening anything, including secrets. When someone is your friend, you can open even things that are not privy to everybody and say, this is it, you are my friend. Hallelujah. There are deep things that even though everything is with respect to scripture, you have to get to a stage and a level with God where God will show you such that make for national impact, territorial impact, cross regions and continent. You can be a friend of God. And that comes through living a life that desires to please him completely. You can be the friend of God. There are people who have a stand with God. That means you can tap into their work with God and experience certain possibilities that your personal spiritual level has not yet gotten you to the level that you should have. I, I, do you understand what I just said? That means based on your personal spiritual level, some of these results and possibilities should not be happening in your life. But you can tap into their grace, their covenant and their work with God. And you will find yourself manifesting possibilities that are far higher than your personal level of spiritual growth. Even before you enter it. It's true. It's true. I have seen people carry graces. I have seen people manifest possibilities that when you vet them scripturally their level of intelligence and spiritual acumen has not gotten them to the point where they should be commanding that level of result but they have been able to align through understanding humility meekness genuine covenant connection i'll give you an instance elisha there is no record of elisha being personally and meticulously trained by Elijah we know that the sons of the prophet were the ones who were being trained by Elijah Elisha poured water in the hands of Elijah that means when he was going for his lecture he would serve him and wait and allow him teach the sons of the prophet so based on his level of renewal based on his level of um, uh, what do we call it now maybe his, his his level of spiritual transition he could not have even received that anointing not to talk about a double portion I'm sure that's why the sons of the prophets were very casual because they knew that this guy was only wasting his time. But he stood there with hunger and he says, all right, you desire this. You have used honor. You have used submission. You have used genuine connection. If you can see me as I'm taking. And that mantle came upon him and the sons of the prophet testified. They said, the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elijah. Another example, when Jesus sent the disciples two by two, and send them seven by seven. I hope you know the Holy Ghost had not come upon them yet. They were not saved. None of them was born again because Jesus had not been glorified. There was nowhere they would have been saved because Jesus had to die and to resurrect by the glory of the Father for anyone to be saved. So they just went with his word under his covering. And as they went to preach, the Bible says they returned rejoicing. They marveled because they didn't feel anything. There was nothing around their life that should produce that result. They said, even the demons were subject to us by thy name. And he said, do not rejoice because of the issue of demons. Rejoice rather that your names will be written in, the, in, in, in heaven. That should be the basis of your joy. It is possible to come under a ministry like this. And while you are still learning the principles of prosperity, while you are still learning the principles of dominion, you can genuinely come under this grace and start seeing certain results happen in your life even before you get to that realm. There are people who have entered that realm already. You will see that if you ask them and say, defend these workings of the spirit, they will tell you sincerely, I am still growing. However, 
because of their covenant connection with understanding you have heard me tell you my precious people fans there is no inheritance for fans i am a fan of this i mm -mm. There is no inheritance for well-wishers. It is people who connect with understanding. Hallelujah. You look for instance at a ministry, respectfully speaking, like Redeemed, our Father in the Lord, Baba Deboe, and you see the spread of Redeemed globally. Let me submit to you, you will be joking to believe that that spread is just an independent reflection of every of the branch or every of the pastor's personal work with God. It will be a joke. There are certain things you see that is a product of a corporate grace moving people together. Are we together? 